Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's Revit exercise tutorial, we will be creating this cool building concept design. It might seem difficult to model this in Revit if you are a beginner, but by the end of this video, you will see how easy it actually is. Now, before we begin, if you find this video helpful, please consider supporting my work on Patreon. Your support helps me create new videos every week. Now, let's get started. So here I am in Revit and first let's go to the south elevation and I am going to set up the level CL. Let's select this one and press CS on the keyboard to create similar. Let's create a new one at 10 feet like so. Now let's go to level 2 and I am going to create curtain walls here. Let's select wall from here and then I am going to select storefront from this drop down. And first let's change the height here let's make it 10 feet and then I am going to create a rectangle like so let's select this one and make it 140 feet and then this one should be 60 okay it's already 60 feet now let's tap select these walls just try to drag them to the center here like so let's select this curtain wall and press cs again to create similar and this time also will create a rectangle let's give 20 feet offset and then we'll create from here just hit space bar once to draw this rectangle inside of this one and let's click there we go now if you notice uh, we need to change the corner mullions so let's select this corner mullions and then hold control key and select all the corner mullions here now first we need to unpin and then we'll select this 5 inch by 5 inch quad corner then click delete elements there we go we got this perfect corner mullions here so we have created this uh, this is our passage and this is going to be a void now let's see this in 3d it's looking something like this now let's go ahead and create the floor so i'll go back to level 2 select floor from here and then use rectangle let's create from this corner to this and then we'll create another one in the center here and this one should be from here to here okay i actually forgot to select this one so we'll change this mullions later on now let's click finish before that just make sure we are using this 12 inches generic float let's click finish go back to 3d now we can simply copy this floor to the level 3 here so it's already selected so we can click here copy to clipboard and then paste align to selected levels i'm going to select level 3 let's click ok there we go now i think we should just attach these curtain walls to this floor so just hover over here hit tab key to highlight all these walls and then we can click here attach top and select this floor click delete elements there we go let's tap select these walls as well and then attach to this floor perfect i'm just going to select this curtain wall then edit type here let's change the spacing for this horizontal grid let's make it seven feet apply okay there we go now let's select the corner mullions let's unpin them and just replace them with this corner mullion there we go So we have this our building model ready now let's create this curved uh, shape here so for that we can use uh, roof by extrusion 
so first let's go back to level 2 and I'm going to create reference planes here so let's select a reference plane from here and then I'm going to use pick lines and I'm going to give 10 feet offset then pick this curtain wall and then this one now let's drag this uh, reference plane this one as well let's select this one and name it reference plane 1 and this one is going to be reference plane 2 now let's go back to south elevation and we can create this curved shape here so for that as I said we are going to use roof by extrusion to create such a shape here so let's go to architecture click this drop down and select roof by extrusion and this dialog box pops up here I am going to select reference plane 1 click OK OK again now I am going to create a straight line from the middle of this and then we will create a 20 feet line here and another 15 feet line now let's hit skip and we'll create a line from this point and just join this here and then we can just delete these two we've got uh, these two lines here let's select both of them and just mirror dm to mirror let's mirror from here now uh, we can use this fillet arc to create a curve here let's click radius and I'm going to make it 8 feet let's select this line and then this one there we go we got this curved shape now I'm just going to increase this radius to 16 feet and we'll just select these two lines and then this perfect let's select this one MV and just move it here and then we'll move again 8 feet from the roof like so and we got this shape here here I think we should just delete this line here as well just delete this line and let's click finish there we go we have created this kind of shape here now we can just go back to level 2 and select this roof and just drag it to this reference plane perfect now we only need to create an opening here to create the openings here we can use this opening by face just click on it and then we need to pick this face if I change the visual style to hidden line we can see this face is highlighted you can see both the edges are now highlighted just click and then we can go to right view here and I think I should change the visual style to wireframe so we can see this edge uh, of this opening here let's use rectangle and just create an opening from here like so now I'm just going to select this line and move it 4 feet let's click finish there we go we have created this opening here now we can simply mirror this so if you notice it's uh, this opening is not visible the easy way to select this opening is that you, you just make a selection like this and then filter check none select this roof opening cut click ok and now we can go to top view and mirror this dm to mirror and we'll mirror it from this point like so ok I think here we should just uh, move it using the arrow keys just to align it with this uh, floor here perfect now we can press escape and make a selection like this again 
click filter check none and then I'm going to select roof opening cut and press DM on the keyboard and will mirror from this point like so there we go now let's add columns here let's go to level 2 and I'm going to select architectural column and let's place one here and then I'm just going to go to 3d and okay it's actually placed on level 2 so we can change the base level to level 1 and the top level should be level 2 there we go we got this column here let's use align and just align this column first we need to select the face of this floor and then this column I'm just going to use move and just move it here. Let's copy this from this corner, place it here, and I'm going to select both both of these columns, then copy. Let's place them here and we'll add on this side as well in the middle of this. Perfect. Let's go to level 1 and we'll create a floor. So we have created this cool building concept design in Revit. You guys saw how easy it was to model this building in Revit. So that's it for this video. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like and share this video and support my work on Patreon. Your support helps me create new videos every week. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video.